do you need to have hands to be a good dentist? Now, this is something that, you know, when we were first in dental school, uh, you would do your wax ups and everybody would turn your wax ups in and all 100 wax ups would go on the table and you would kind of look at everyone else's to kind of gauge how you're doing compared to everyone else. And it was kind of fun, right? And, and what you found was that there was a, it was a normal distribution to the class, right? About 10 to 15 people were like artists. They had hands. They could just really do the waxing so beautifully. Most folks were somewhere in the middle, so it was acceptable. And then there were a couple of people that just really just didn't have the artistic hand skill necessary to kind of get the wax up to work. And I don't suspect that even over time that that bell curve has changed much because if you've practiced any time in dentistry, you see people coming into your practice that are new, that have had restorative work, and you say, this was done really well and this was done okay, you know. So we know that there's a a range of, of skills out there. But the question really comes, especially with respect to dental implants, do you have to have hands to do dental implants. And I would I would propose to you guys that of all the disciplines in dentistry, other than maybe ortho, <laughs> implants is where you want to live if you don't have hands. Because with, with guided surgery, you can plan your case virtually, which doesn't require hands as long as you can operate a mouse. And afterwards, you get a type 4 fully guided system. And that type 4 fully guided system allows you to place the implant within 200 microns of accuracy of your position, all right? Irrespective of whether you have hands. This eliminates, do I have the ability to see where I need to place the implant and get it in the right position freehand? And it's always interesting when people come to the class and they do their first guided uh, case, they always text, they literally text minutes later and they go, I cannot believe how easy that was. I just placed my implant in five minutes. It was perfectly placed, and I can't believe it. And we get the text all the time. And it's quite fun because that's what the idea is. The idea is that you've been doing this freehand for a while, and you and there's a certain amount of stress associated with, did I put the screw into the nerve? Did I put the screw into the sinus? Did I put the screw into the adjacent tooth? Right? You get very nervous, in, especially in cases where there's limited amounts of volume of bone. So when it comes to fully guided, Oftentimes, because we do videos for the, for the courses and such, I use my left hand. Now, I'm right-handed, okay, and I use my left hand. And you would say, well, that's blasphemy. But in the video, my right hand blocks the camera. So I have to use my left hand. Now, all I have to do is get the drill inside the guide sleeve and then step on the rheostat with my foot. It doesn't require hand skills. It's not like prepping a crown or prepping a class two filling and really getting down and getting your box margins really beautiful and sharp, okay? It's not like that at all. So for dental implants, there's really no better place to live, especially especially if you start to get older and your hand, your hands are going a little bit and your eyesight's going a little bit. I know what that's like. So when you get to that point in your career where you're like, okay, you know, I need a, I need to move up from the three O's to the four O loops, you start to say, okay, maybe maybe I need to, to think about what I'm doing. But implants is a great place to be if you don't have that really really uh, high end uh, touch that we call hands in dentistry. Guys, if you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe. If you have any comments, put them below so we can answer them and. If you have any ideas for future videos, we'd love to hear from you.